This video is sponsored by Google Chromebooks. list um for the first half of the day right now it's 8 30 so i'm gonna see i'm gonna see how much progress i can make um and then get to the I was able to get everything done on my to-do list that I made for the morning. So the to-do list that I use is called Splendu. It's in the um, Google Google Play App Store. And so this is what it looks like. And if you guys aren't familiar, it's a laptop that runs on the Google operating system. So they have their own um, Google Play Store where you have like access to so many different um, apps. So you just have so many different things like you have game apps, you have uh, things for productivity, you have like social media apps, you have things for entertainment, um, like the list just goes on and on. So many different things you can choose from. So it's nice that you have just everything in one place. And since it is a Google operating system, you have to log into the laptop with one of your Gmail accounts. So once you do that, you then have access, um, access to all your Google Drive um, documents, which is really good for me because I do a lot on my Google Drive. I store a lot of um, you know documents and information on there. So it's just easy access to all the information that I need in one place. But like I mentioned earlier, um, I was able to get my everything on my to-do list done this morning. So I'm just going to take a little break and catch up on one of my shows using Hulu. And Hulu is actually in the Google Play App Store. So all I had to do was download it and now I'm good to go. And what I'm currently watching is How to Get Away with the Murder. I just love how big this screen is, by the way. So it is about seven o'clock. I watched one episode of How to Get Away with uh, Murder, and then I continued some more work that I had to do um, for class. And then uh, I actually still have this remaining on my to-do list for this evening, um, Sketchy Farm. But I wanted to um, go ahead and edit uh, one of these photos. I'm using the Adobe Lightroom. All right, so if you just click right here, you get to all the apps that you have that pops up there. Then you can see um, the Lightroom right there. It's Adobe, You're just gonna open that up. So we're gonna go to um, one of the photos that I wanna edit. This one right here. All right, so this was in Ghana over the summer. I just wanna make it a little bit brighter. I like, um, printing out my pictures and developing them. Like I like having a physical copy. I think that's nice instead of just leaving um, pictures sitting on your phone and your camera. If you watch my vlog, you may have noticed like some of the pictures I have hanging in my room. Let me show you. Like on this wall right here, this photo was from when I went to Mexico, Playa del Carmen with my sister. 
uh, this right here was, this is Nigeria, the village. We went a few Christmases ago. I'm going again this Christmas. This right here was also Mexico. This was um, Myrtle Beach. I went with my sisters and my mom years ago. And then um, over here, This at the side of my nightstand, y'all probably seen that one before. That is me and Stanley. That's from this past summer. Uh, I think that was at an ice cream shop. And then right here next to my desk, I have these pictures. This was from um, my sister's wedding, one in the Miller. Uh, focus, yeah, my sister's wedding. And that's one, of, just a picture from school of my classmate, Ify. And so yeah, this, I just want to brighten it up a little bit, not like do any major editings, it just looks kind of dull, I want it to have more of a natural look. So these are some of the settings um, right here, you have natural, bright, high contrast. Um, so yeah, these are one of the apps in the uh, Google Play app store, so I'm just going to take advantage of that and edit this up and then print it out when I have some time. Okay, Google. So I was just searching um, for some different smoothie options. I usually always make um, either green smoothies or like strawberry berry smoothies, but I wanna try something different. And you can see it has voice command, just okay, Google, and you can search for what you need. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, try to make a smoothie and then wrap up the rest of my studying. It's only seven, so I'm just gonna do some sketchy farm and then I'll pretty much be done for the day. Probably um, watch some more shows that I'm behind on. But yeah, today was a pretty productive day. I got what um, I need to get done. Uh, the Chromebook is definitely helpful for productivity. I really do love it. I love the touch screen. That's a really nice addition to it. And I love how big the screen is. It's a big laptop, but it's not heavy. It's pretty light, which is good as well. You know, everything is easily accessible. Um, my day ran smoothly with it. One thing I was worried about was, you know, the Google operating system, how maybe some things that are on Windows won't be available for this operating system. But with the Google Play App Store, there's just so many different options for apps. So that's not even really an issue. So yeah, I'm just gonna, um, finish up the rest of the day with sketchy thank you guys for watching again this week if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye intravascular injection of muscarinic agonists produce market vasodilation i don't want you to overthink this but it seems counterintuitive you'd expect smooth muscle activation would cause vasoconstriction right well activation of these anterior receptors leads to the release of nitric oxide from vascular endothelial cells this nitric oxide endothelial